Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nadia and on this channel I talk about learning to code and uh, building a career in tech. In this video I'd like to share more tips about getting your first job in tech and specifically I'd like to focus on one of the most important parts of the job process, uh, writing a good resume. I think that a lot of developers actually leave uh, writing a resume to the last minute and don't pay nearly enough attention to writing this document as they should and this is actually a big mistake because a resume is usually your first point of contact between you and your potential employer so it really needs to be very good because if it's not good then um, the HR person or the recruiter or whoever is looking at the resume will just toss it out and you will never get a chance to show your wonderful personality, your technical skills, your experience or any of the stuff like none of the stuff will matter if your resume gets tossed out and there is a very high chance that your resume will get tossed out if you don't follow one, you know, some of the most important rules of writing um, good resumes. I sometimes get asked to review uh, a resume and there is one consistent error that I see people make. Uh, and this is a universal error that people make that come from different cultures and different countries. And this error is that they list their responsibilities and not their achievements. What I mean by that is, is usually in the resume there is a section called your experience where you go through all of the places where you worked and you talk about what you were doing at each job. And it sort of makes sense to talk about your responsibilities, but also if you look at this from the perspective of, the, of your potential employer, you need to ask yourself this question. What does this actually mean to me as a potential employer? Say you were a sales manager. So in your resume, you say that you were responsible for selling a certain product. Uh, and imagine that I am your potential employer. I'm reviewing your resume and I see that you were selling a product. So what does this say to me? In reality, it doesn't say anything because it's equally possible that you were able to sell all of the products. You were able to increase the sales by 50% in, you know, in three months. Or it's also, very, it's also possible that you sold zero products and the sales of the product collapsed while you were at the company. So you can see that saying that you were doing something doesn't really say much to me as a potential employer. If you say that you were responsible for, say, um, managing projects, right? So what does it say to me as your potential employer? Again, nothing, because it might be that all of your project projects were delivered on time, it might also happen that all of your projects slipped and none of them were delivered when they were supposed to. So you see this is very vague, uh, saying that you were doing something in your job is so vague, uh, it doesn't give any value to your potential employer, it doesn't say anything about you. So how would you improve this and how would you solve this problem? I think the easiest and the best way to do this is actually to focus on your achievements and the best way to focus on your achievements would be to focus on numbers and quantifiable metrics. What I mean by that is that you need to try to think of all of your experiences and for each experience you need to try to think of numbers that you can present as your achievements. So if you were a sales manager and you were responsible for selling a certain product, you might want to come up with a number of products you sold or maybe you can mention something like uh, the fact that you increased the sales of a product by a certain number of percent in, say, three months. If you're a manager, you can say that you managed a team of three people. If you were responsible for onboarding new engineers, you can mention that you onboarded two new engineers to a team. If you organized a knowledge sharing event, you can say that you organized a knowledge sharing event for 100 people. If you were contributing to open source, you can say that you made um, 200 commits to three different open source projects. So you see that numbers, they tell a story much better than any abstract words would. The numbers that you mentioned, they don't have to be uh, crazy big to be impressive. I think that sometimes we fall down this uh, way of thinking that, you know, I cannot really mention this because this achievement is very minor. However, no achievement is too small to mention. So if you, for instance, created a tool that saved, um, that increased the developer productivity, for instance, by 1%, it's still 1% improvement and it's still important and you should still mention it. So 
if you are now writing your resume to get your first tech job or maybe you are trying to improve your resume try to go over your experiences and think if there are numbers that you can use to describe them when you are doing that um, please remember one very important rule that i actually carried over from my previous job as a journalist this is the principle of using the inverted pyramid Inverted pyramid is one of the most important rules in journalism, maybe the fundamental one. When telling a new story, you should always start from the most important part of the story, and then uh, you should add the details to the story. So if you can imagine, this is the inverted pyramid, which starts from the most important thing, and then you add more and more detail. The same thing with your resume. When you are describing your experiences, when you are looking at a particular experience, please try to think of one of the most important achievement that you had there, the most important thing that you managed to accomplish. And mention this thing first. When you're thinking about uh, your resume and you're submitting your resume, try to think of what the experience would be for the person who receives it. Uh, this person doesn't receive just your resume to, you know, to carefully read through and analyze each line and you know, everything that you mentioned there. This person probably gets a thousand resumes a day so they might likely have just a few seconds to scan through your resume. They might be able to just get a glimpse of a few key items that you mentioned. So ask yourself, what are those things that you want those people, that, that person to see? What are the most important achievements that you've had at each of your previous jobs? And focus on them. So once again, to summarize, try to mention the most important achievement first and always describe your, describe your achievements in terms of numbers. Don't just leave, uh, don't just list responsibilities, list your achievements wherever it's possible. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if what I said made sense. If you have any more questions about writing a resume or finding your first job in tech, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye.